Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my car. Oh. The music's already turned off, so I don't need to worry about that. And you know what I've realised over the last few videos that I've done is my interior is seriously boring for you guys to look at anyway. So I'm going to try and spice it up. Uh, let me just try and manoeuvre myself within a Ferrari 430, a Ferrari 360, a Ferrari Daytona and a Ferrari 308 GTS. So I've made it without crashing. And yeah, the interior of my car is really boring. Watching back the Saturday video of when three idiots went car shopping, which has had quite a lot of success actually, 27,000 views since uh, Sunday, which uh, thank you very much for watching it and tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's gonna be a lot more videos of that very soon when um, I actually start, begin to looking for my second supercar more seriously than posting a few pictures on Instagram and looking on Auto Trader. I'm going to McDonald's for lunch and now I know most people would think I'm going to do a McDonald's roulette but I'm so hungry that I don't want to risk getting a veggie wrap and a Diet Coke so I'm actually going to order what I want to order. Speed bump. Right, so back to uh, the vlog today and let's start with oh, oh, that was tough my meeting with gad tuning gad tuning are a remapping specialist where they um get their get cars and they i don't know the ins and outs on how you remap a car i know that it's the software that you plug into the engine and you're able to rejig how things work and get more power out of the car so they challenge, They have challenged me yet, but I can't reveal the challenge just yet, but I'm going to Monaco in April for top marks, and they have challenged me to uh, a similar sort of Top Gear style challenge to the one that I had when I drove from London to Edinburgh, one tank of fuel, so I'm really sort of excited and nervous at the same time for this one because it's a lot bigger, um, and it's also in a foreign country as well, and the last time I went to France I had a crash, so, it's definitely an exciting one, but there's also, they are also doing a lot of stuff to um, my car to freshen it up, to make it pretty much brand new or better than new, which I'm really excited about. And those videos that are gonna be coming are going to feature the GAD tuning directors, the people that are specialists in that industry, which is so important with these videos because I'm not that great at relaying information as uh, quite a few people have probably seen Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna die! Have I got my wallet? Oh yes, good. Excellent. Change of heart, vlogging today. Tweet. And you just saw me tweet. And if, uh... If you follow me on Twitter, and uh, you're on Twitter at 12.43, it's confusing me. It's... And you're watching this video, this evening, so it just all goes back in time. YouTube bends time. That's just crazy. Alright, so uh, wait. That's alright. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Mm. Excellent, and the stink begins. Fully replenished. Thank you, McDonald's. And um, now let's quickly check out what cars are at SB at the moment. Um, I've done a couple of tours of the place, but uh, check out this one to begin with. So this car that you can see here, Purple Diablo, has been wrapped by uh, Yanni at Yanni Mize and um, is a stunning purple colour and um, I think it looks really really cool. It's quite muddy actually, I think it's been through a field. Um, and then here we've got another Diablo. So we're now back in the uh, SB Race Engineering office. 
Ooh, I feel like I'm on a carousel or something like that. I'm going to sit down. I feel quite dizzy, actually. Let's talk about um, the YouTube channels, Supercars of London, and potentially a second YouTube channel. And this is where I want to hear all of your advice, all of your constructive criticism. Anything that you have to say about the next two to three minutes on what I'm going to be talking about would be greatly appreciated. Um, and of course, I appreciate everyone's support um, of of across the Supercars of London board. So let's start with why I'm thinking about setting a second YouTube channel up. Well, when I started Supercars of London, I knew that I was just going to be filming the supercars in London and I was going to be bringing th the best possible action that I could capture on film to that channel. And then I set up another Supercars of London mini uh, YouTube channel, which didn't really take off in the way that I wanted it to. And here's the reason why. I was only uploading the stuff that I didn't want to go on the main channel to this smaller YouTube channel. So every uh, clip that wasn't as good as let's say a Lamborghini going full throttle down Sloan Street, I would upload it to the second YouTube channel. But then that got me thinking, why am I even uploading it to the second YouTube channel? If it's not good enough to go on the first Supercars of London main channel, then it's not good enough to go on YouTube. And it was only until I started my first supercar, I turned the camera upon myself and I brought you guys into the world of uh, supercars, or my world of supercars, of being able to go in a few rides, behind the scenes. Then now that I've been able to buy this Audi R8, this fantastic blue car that's sitting outside, um, there's lots of behind the scenes vlogs that have been going on that I wouldn't really expect to be putting on Supercars of London when I started it. So it's now got me thinking, do I set up a second YouTube channel that's dedicated to vlogs, behind the scenes, stuff that wouldn't you wouldn't normally see on the Supercars of London YouTube channel? Things like going to Germany to watch the Ford Focus RS launch, vlogging my trip whilst I'm out there, all of the different experiences that I'm able to do. Maybe I'll take you uh, take some vlogs to meetings so you guys get to see what goes down in business meetings, uh, but to do with Supercars of London and to do with other projects on the go, and bringing you more in personally um, to uh, behind the scenes of uh, what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. I have some fantastic ideas for a second YouTube account, and it's gonna be a lot of fun being able to explore and basically experiment with loads of different video ideas, different techniques, getting some professional people on board so that the video quality editing um, is a bit better. There might be also some music involved and there'll be a lot of fun, laughter, maybe some pranks. Who knows? It's literally just going to be a massive, massive experiment and hopefully um, all of you guys that have been supporting me so far on Supercars of London are able to subscribe to my second YouTube channel as well. So. If all of this gets great positive feedback and some really funky um, ideas in terms of videos, then I will go ahead, I'll film a trailer for the new PJW YouTube channel and upload it to my uh, second YouTube channel. And then that will make, basically mean that the channel is um, available, visible for people that are searching it and you'll be able to find it. Then you subscribe and um, start sharing and I'll obviously be uh, continually um, shouting myself out on the Supercars of London YouTube channel and hopefully we get a really, really cool community of uh, like-minded car enthusiasts. Uh, we'll also get some people that enjoy gaming and whatever it is, I just would love to uh, bring you guys in much more personally into my supercar adventures, my supercar journeys, but then also everything that I do behind the scenes as well because although it may seem that my life revolves 24 seven around cars I do get up to a lot of other stuff and it will be a lot of fun to uh, bring a video camera along to a football session so you guys see what um, I get up to on the football pitch and things like that that's my quick vlog for today it's Thursday I hope you guys enjoy and have a fantastic evening or whether you have a fantastic day or whether you have a great Friday whatever time zone you're watching this on thank you for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video talking about what's going to be happening to my car over the next month or so with GAD tuning which I'm really looking forward to about. I'm also going to be posting all of their details in the description below so you can check them out. And then it's all about the second YouTube channel. So please let me know what you think of that. I hope you guys are supportive and get involved with um, that as well because I'm really excited. I've got a lot of video plans and things like that, but I just want you guys to give me the thumbs up and say go for it. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to Supercars of London and um, I look forward to bringing you guys on more adventures on the Supercars of London YouTube channel very, very soon. So thank you very much and I'm going to get back to work in the office. <laughs>